Hello everyone, Freeman here. As my last video on the furry fandom was six months ago, I figured I'd make another one. This one, however, is going to be different. As the last video was a time when I didn't know much of the furry fandom, I have now enriched myself a little bit more, and unfortunately, a little bit too much. As the furry menace is spreading faster than the buponic plague in California, I have figured it might be time for us to maybe make some instructional video about how to survive the oncoming onslaught. You could say I'm preparing you for the end time, Ragnarok, the scattering. But do not worry friends, this video that I've set up is going to tell you three possible solutions that we can utilize in order to save humanity. And, well, if they are lucky, we only need to use two of them. But let's not beat around the bush. Let me instead tell you of the first solution. Our first solution is a diplomatic one. The first path to peace, after all, can be attained through words. As such, we are going to train special diplomats and translators to have them understand that we don't want them to shit on our cars, to not include our children and farm animals in their disgusting rituals, and lastly, set up an economic plan to ensure that they are not going to go bankrupt from buying mursuits and mursuit accessories. I know, their language is very hard to understand. Their language consists of a corrupt form of the modern-day English, corrupt in the sense that some of the words that they use that we would normally recognize have been transformed and altered in such a fashion that whilst we might have understood sort of what they meant, it is not at all guaranteed that the intent reflects what they say, hence as to why it's become its own language. Don't worry, we have a lot of things to offer this new species if it comes to the conclusion they are willing to listen. For example, how to bathe, how to not drink yourself into a scooper, and how intercourse with the same gender as you does not lead to reproduction. I hope this would be enough, but let's play with the mind and say that it's not enough. Let's say that they understand what we say, but they simply don't want to listen, and instead they continue their operations, hell, maybe even amping them up, opening new convention centers, or as we would refer to them, conversion centers, continuing to live a life where they don't bathe, and also amping up their consumption of alcohol to the use of drugs, and turning our various farms into petting zoos. Well, that's why we have the second solution. Try and shout at them from afar and make them realize what they are doing to themselves, that they are going to be their own doom. Essentially contain them in their various halls and conversion centers, but don't let anyone wander in. Let them destroy themselves, because even they can't live on seminal fluids their entire life. Try to have the brave victims and experts to come forward and tell us about the insides of the cult, their various experiments upon each other, and also their shady dealings with the outside world. Report them to the SCP Foundation so they can come up with contingency plans. Have the Interspecies Alliance reported to the FBI. Have them exposed as a psychic cult. Uncover their secret operations currently taking place in Cuba, and for God's sake, do not abort the retort. It all seems so easy, doesn't it? It all seems so clear. These objectives and these goals. To try and have this all come down to some form of conclusion. To have them understand that their actions is not morally justifiable in a modern human society. To have them police themselves when bad shit happens. But no. It's far too late for that. They are far too corrupted. Ideology is taking place within their ranks when there never was one. Perversions that never was meant to be has also now grown to an uncomfortable high number. And I suppose, therefore, there might be only one solution. The final solution. And if they want to live as animals, then they will live underneath the yoke of the oldest law to nature. You're either prey or predator.